The articles published by Australian Financial Review alleges Duma's involvement in 2011 when he was Petroleum Minister in a deal with the Australian petroleum company Horizon Oil for the securing of a petroleum retention license PRL 21 in the Western Province. The AFR article names lawyers and senior statements reportedly involved in a blackmail attempt to secure 30% discretions of shares in PRL 21 located in Western Province. Mr. Deputy Speaker, when negative issues about Papua New Guinea's national leadership and therefore national governance attracts international publicity in their media, and we only get to know about them when our journalists report them in our news media. In Parliament, Deputy Opposition Leader Dr. Alan Marat stating that the international media reports such as the Horizon Deal continue to taint the corruption perspective in PNG. Dr. Marat questioning if the Prime Minister would discharge duties to communicate with the Ombudsman Commission and PNG Law Society to investigate the alleged official corruption, fraud and bribery in the issuing of PRL 21 by the Department of Petroleum and Energy. With a Tukina shelf company, Elevala Energy Limited, a company purportedly bought by Horizons Oils for US $10.3 million and that shelf company name now I believe changed because it has been bought, changed to Rubicon Limited. Dr. Marat finishing his question on whether or not the Prime Minister would sack Minister Duma. But Mr. Deputy Speaker, I say none of this will be the case. So Prime Minister, through you Mr. Deputy Speaker, will you communicate any suggestion of investigation urgently to the two authorities? because the political, economic, and consequentially social ramifications of this corruption is now having a lasting impact on the image of our country and our citizens. And finally, third question, Mr. Prime Minister, will you sack your Minister for Commerce and Industry and replace him with a better one? Prime Minister James Marper responding to the last question first that he would not be sacking Minister Duma because of a media report until sufficient evidence is provided. If there is corruption involved in this one, by not necessarily minister responsible but the entire system of government that facilitated this transaction, and it was corrupted, then upon finding an evidence of corruption, due actions will take course. But at this point in time, everything that has been raised are raised by one media firm in Australia. Marpe stating he had spoken with Minister Duma and he asked him to make a public statement on the issue. And he will make his statement in due course, possibly later today or tomorrow, whenever he feels that he will make this, uh, he has got every uh, sufficient facts organized for him to make this statement. And I don't intend to speak for him. But Prime Minister has stated that key corruption investigation authorities like Ombudsman Commission and police should take it upon themselves to investigate the alleged transactions. But that doesn't mean I will sit on top of this knowledge and not react to it. Legitimate organizations in our country, Ombudsman Commission for that matter, police for that matter, do not need Prime Minister's communication to respond to the call to scrutinize such allegations. It is within their constitutional duty to handle these things with due care because as leaders, our conduct stands exposed for public scrutiny and that is part of the job we are paid to be scrutinized. The Prime Minister also stating he has asked his counterpart, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison, for evidence to also be provided to PNG authorities to allow them to investigate. And as in response to the question, I have sent a request at the highest level to my colleague in Australia. I am interested in this matter. My police will be interested in this matter. My ombudsman will be interested in this matter. I communicated with my colleague, if you can assist, with total information as to what has happened. And if anyone amongst us in our country has received money as infringed, or has conducted a deal as infringed, 
or inferred, I beg your pardon, not infringed. Then it is to the interest of fighting corruption in Papua New Guinea that those informations be made available to our own local corruption fighting institutions. And we will then prosecute and help assist in securing justice if corruption was actually perpetuated or committed. Minister William Duma, who is in the front and center of the Horizon Deal reporting by Australian Financial Review, is expected to make a statement in Parliament before addressing PNG Media. Adelaide Sirakskari, National, MTV News.